Welcome back to my kitchen guys today. I'll be making me some carrot cake in my kitchen So if you want to learn this fluffy moist carrot cake recipe stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe Let's get this process started I've got all my ingredients here first. I've got my carrot right here and I've used my grater to grater my carrot. Look at it, guys. Look at it. I've used the smallest part on my grater to grater my carrot. I've got my oil, and I'm using one cup of oil. I've got my eggs over here. I've got my eggs. I've got my cinnamon powder vanilla I've got my sugar my salt baking powder baking soda and I'm using my all-purpose flour and this is two cups of all-purpose flour I'll be putting all the ingredients, all the measurements in my description box so you could make it at home and try it out. So guys, let's get to the other process. The first thing I'm going to do is combine all my dry ingredients together. So I have my baking powder here, baking soda, cinnamon powder, and salt. My flour. So I'm just going to combine my baking soda. I'm just adding everything in. So now I'm going in my baking powder. I'm going in my salt. And now I'm going to go in with my cinnamon powder. Right here. Just toss it in. I'm going to show you guys. This is it, guys. So now I'm going to fold everything in. So I'm going to put this aside now and I'm just going to move on to folding all my wet ingredients together. Now guys, at this point, I'm going to combine all my wet ingredients together. So now I'm going to break my egg and I'm just breaking in this bowl right here because I like to take the eye out of the egg. So this little white thing here, I like to take it out of my egg. This is the way oh, I grew up taking out the eye out of the egg. So, yes. So it won't let my cake smell a little bit raw. This is it, see? That's it. Right here. The other one is over here. This is it. Okay. And I'm just going to go in with like two drops of lime juice. Take away a little rawness. One. Okay. Adding the lime juice is optional. You don't have to add it in your carrot cake. But I'm just going to add my egg inside my bowl right here. And then I'm going with my cup of sugar and I'm using one cup of granulated sugar and I'm just adding it to my egg like this then I'm going in with my oil I want you guys to see exactly what I'm doing here I'm going with my vanilla I'll be using my mixer this process but first I'm just going to use this and just fold it in a little bit Fold all of this in. I just hope you guys are seeing it. And um, guys, make sure you stir one way. One way. I'm just gonna show you guys look at this 
this is how your batter should look your wet ingredients should look fluffy and nice look at it look at it guys can't get any better than this it should not be lumpy no lump should be in it whatsoever so please make sure you fold your wet ingredients together properly and also guys fold it in one way mix your wet ingredients one way this also helps your cake to rise properly so let's move on to the other process guys so now guys I'm going to add my wet ingredients to my dried ingredients all of that in and scrape all of this and we need all that bad boy in this and this looks really nice already. I just love to bake cake. Follow these steps and you won't go wrong. All right. Now we're gonna fold this in. Remember I was spinning, mixing it the opposite way. So yes, fold everything in. And now I'm going to use my mixer. So guys, this is how your batter should look like. Creamy and nice. This is both the wet and the dry ingredients. So now, I'm going to go in with my carrots. And I'm gonna mix everything in. So guys, this is what my batter looks like, and this is how your batter should look like. Mm -mm -mm. I cannot wait to just bite in my carrot cake. Look at that, guys. OMG. Look at it, a closer look. Look. Mm -mm -mm. So now, we're going to get our baking pan ready and I'm gonna spray my cooking spray so it won't stick you could use butter you could use oil I'm just using my butter my butter spray non stick buttery flavor cooking spray normally when I'm baking I always use flour to just coat my baking pan if you don't do that that's fine but this is my way of doing it you don't need a lot of flour so about this is good yes this is good so yes guys now I'm gonna add my batter At this point, I'm leveling my cake and to release any ear bubble that is formed in my cake. So now guys, my oven is preheated at 350 degrees and I'm gonna bake my carrot cake for 20 to 30 minutes. So guys, let's go. And 
and there you have it guys my carrot cake in my kitchen it's all finished I just took it out of the oven and I'm gonna leave it for 30 minutes time so it could get cool so I could take it out of the pan and cut it and show you guys what it looks like in the inside so I'm gonna leave it for half an hour time so see you guys back in half an hour time guys And we are back guys, my cake is ready. And I'm just gonna put this plate here so we could take our cake out. So we're gonna do it like this, like this. And look how easily it's gonna come out guys, look. And look at that, can't get any better than this. I wanna give you guys a closer look before I cut it. Look at my cake, my carrot cake. The smell of my carrot cake, I could smell the lemon juice, I could smell all the nice ingredients that I've added to my carrot cake. And now, I'm gonna give this a cut. I'm gonna cut this bad boy, and I'm gonna show you guys how it looks. So let's cut this bad boy. Ooh la la. See, it's all done properly. Just gonna put piece on this plate right here. Honestly, I don't want it to be broken up. Got my carrot cake. Hey, guys. Look at that, guys. Look how moist. Look at my cake. Look how moist it is. That's my carrot cake, guys. Oh, la la. Gonna add some whipped cream. There you have it guys, my carrot cake in my kitchen, the Jamaican way. And I'm gonna give this a taste test with my whipped cream. I love me some whipped cream. I like the niggle more, moist, got it. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I can't get enough of this. I gotta eat more. Mmm. Look, guys, take a bite, guys. Take a bite. Here you go. A bite for you guys. Yeah. And there you have it, guys. My carrot cake in my kitchen. So if you enjoyed this carrot cake recipe, please don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And guys, make sure you turn your notification button on so you don't miss out any video that we post and comment and tell me what you love about this lovely carrot cake recipe. And also, comment and tell me what you wanna see me cook again in my kitchen. Have a blessed Sunday and I hope you guys stay warm out there and be safe. Enjoy this lovely recipe, guys. Bye, guys.